myself I get high I get low there's no Ruin who? Yes, it is Ruin who. And we have Todd with us right now. Todd CB and he is the host of, say the word, because I don't want to say it wrong, the, Dion the, the Dionysium, uh, Dionysium bar event, uh, where we'll have uh, debates or occasional performances or, or speeches, that sort of thing. But that sort Ooh. of thing. But you look like you should be running for a political office. Well, I'm sort of running away from political <laughs> office. I'm more, I'm more of a uh, libertarian and actually technically an, an anarchist. But uh, but at our last event, we did have people from different factions reacting to the election. Uh, and, oh, that must have been fun. And what's your take on the election? Oh, mine? Well... I don't know why. Let me hear you. Okay. That's uh, uh, oh, well, my, although I was just moderating at the most recent event, uh, I guess I was, my, my own take is uh, uh, it was a complete disaster, but there was, no, there was no good way for the election to turn out. Well, it was uh, good for women, I thought. I, you see, I think that was all just uh, a fantasy and a propaganda tactic, mostly concocted well, by twenty percent. Twenty percent of women senators instead of eighteen. That's a plus. Well, I mean, basically, I mean, there was no like war on women. There was no attack on vaginas planned. But that was a. Great... You don't think that they were gonna um, do the rape thing and the the abortion thing? They weren't gonna yeah, be absolutely. able to do anything. That's that part of what lost them the election. Not the two senators. Well, I mean, first of all, the concern was over. Uh, there were there were a few crackpots in the uh, congressional uh, races who had said things who had said things like uh, they didn't think there should be a uh, a rape or incest exception, um, which even some perfectly secular philosopher philosophy professors might argue makes more sense than not having those be exceptions. But in any case, those people were regarded as crackpots. They all lost their congressional races. Yes. Romney did not support that position. He very explicitly. Yeah, he did. Although there was an ad that said he was, it showed him supporting the guy that the guy had out. Well, so. you know, they'll they'll all do you know like yeah. intra party endorsements. They'll do as, things, as, but, as mean things as they possibly but, can. But even supposedly gung ho. Oh, what is libertarian? Running mate, running mate uh, Paul Ryan uh, supported the uh, rape. After. Yeah, he, that was after. He passed two bills to uh, Paul Ryan. I think he didn't good. at the beginning. He but then he went real quick. The, the, most, the, the, most, the most pro-life presidents we've ever had were George W. Bush and Reagan, and they essentially did nothing to restrict abortion. So the idea that it was like some urgent we issue couldn't go back is, with. is 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 just is no, just something nothing. It's something the Democrats. No, 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 it seemed like it. It's something the Democrats trumped up because they knew it would be popular with women, and if they could get more female votes, they might well, win. Well, well Romney said on day one he was going to cancel Planned Parenthood, and just, and just the fact that this guy would have put two people in the Supreme Court that might have overturned Roe's way. That was the dangerous part. Well, and, and strictly speaking, uh, getting back to the funding issue, I mean, li libertarians, of course, would cut funding for everything, so it's not like they have any special animus against Planned Parenthood, per se. Um, Wait, well, say that again. Say it in slow motion. Li libertarians would cut uh, funding. funding for everything. Well, meaning, 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 libertarians don't want us involved with anything around the world. So what does that mean, exactly? No government. So um, what? W so you're, but you're an anarchist, you say. Essentially. Right. So, so do you, are you into punk rock? Uh, yes. Because that yeah, yeah. like anarchy, right? Right. As, and as long as the, the uh, anarchic punks respect property rights and don't uh, steal other people's stuff. So or, you're, or, you're into anarchy or, or without or looting. Exactly. It's a, an so, your event, so your events kind of have these kind of debates like we're doing right now. This kind of A little bit. Yeah, like so occasionally it'll be things like, you know, should, should property rights be more secure? But also things and like... And do you think that it can happen in a society of human nature where, where we want all the same things, supposedly, and it seems so easy in, in conversa com conversation and on paper to write it all out is like the perfect world. But why is it that in any commune or any dictatorship or any situation where where it should be a beautiful life, why does it not work? But, uh, because it's a commune. Uh, property rights are the key to giving people their own space, autonomy, their own stuff, and making a clear dividing line that tells other people, you can't harm me, you can't take this, this is my Now, is that a law? Is so, is that a law? Con uh, yeah, and you can you can promulgate laws without having a, a central government. Basically, as long as there's a widespread understanding... Now, what about if a Hurricane Sandy happens? Oh, and people I, need government help. The then train, what train. happens? Is it like, 
we don't want government, but in case of an emergency, then we do. The, uh, I certainly, well, the track record of FEMA is appalling. And yeah, so I think I know. the last thing you want is government in charge. Well, it depends on who's in charge of FEMA, because right no, now it's not appalling. And they're doing it really doesn't job. make a difference. It really doesn't make a difference. Um, and, uh, and, and so the whole idea that, like, you know, so who would save the day? Katrina was, the idea of Katrina, Katrina was bungled. Not because FEMA was a government bureaucracy, but because George Bush secretly hated black people. Right. Uh, is well, I always think that's why wars are happening, because he wants to just sift out the, uh, I mean, the, the minorities. Uh, you know, would the explanation were that simple? But I mean, well, it's just like the war on drugs. It's a war on poverty and war on, I mean, war on black people, essentially. Disproportionately affects them, which makes it easier for a lot of other people to look the other way, certainly. But you know, even I hope you're both wrong. The war on drugs. Drugs is. It's a fallacy. The whole thing was a. Build up the prison. Yeah, but drugs are non discriminate. They're just like, you know, every household has, you know, there's white collar drugs. Just Look at Wall Street. It benefited the prison industry. That's drugs. different. That, that, that's certainly true. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, I think, I, I think we, we know prohibition worked badly. Do we want government agents to come My in? My great great grandmother had a speakeasy during prohibition. Good for her. Oh, oh, yeah. There, there was actually one on, on top of the Chrysler building, which gives you an idea how little attention New York paid to Prohibition. I mean, they, they basically thought it was a joke. I yeah, know, yeah. A lot yeah. of people got yeah. yeah. very wealthy in the alcohol business. Yeah, I mean, Kennedy got elected. And uh, uh, it, it actually started getting legalized on a state-by-state -state basis before they legalized it nationally. Right. Uh, and so do you I, think weed is similar to that, or is it totally different? I think you're actually you're, you're seeing a similar thing it's happen. starting now. I, I was going to say one of the most exciting things about the election. Colorado. Yeah. We, uh, <laughs> Everyone wants to buy a house in Colorado. Most, I think most policemen now would say, you're really wasting our time making us focus on any part of marijuana. I think it depends on the cop, and they it depends make, on the minute they of the day. They want to go criminals and murderers they, and rapists. I don't know. I wish, I wish that if, was true. If they haven't even do that. Yeah. But again, that, that's another reason I would also you know, privatize police. I mean, at least if you've got competing police services, now, you can you, go to the ones that get the job done instead of waiting for the government cops to Now, what about teachers? Oh, that would be like the first thing. I mean, I mean I have now, what, would it, what does it mean, privatized? Do you have to find rich people to fund everything? Like, how do you yep. do that? Well, I think, it, every, I think, well, first of all, I mean, on average, everyone would have about a third of their money back, so you wouldn't you wouldn't get taxed in the first place. So you would have more money to spend on the things that actually matter to you instead of the National Wine Tasting Council and the Strategic Helium Reserve. So who would fix wars. the roads and who would fix... Who would even now there are there are privately owned roads and probably the most efficient way is uh, toll roads because then you know how much people actually want to use them and they so pay they, as the they tolls use them. would be owned by people <laughs> like the troll on the top of the pay for the roads that they do now yeah, but if there's no so, government well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, the problem with that kind of theory though is means the rich would have protection but the poor wouldn't and, you know well you you you're, you're the the guy, your neighborhood Idealistically, money. no. On the on the contrary, government tends to redistribute wealth upward, away from the poor and toward the wealthy. I only after I would Reagan, believe though. that. No, not only, only after Reagan. Reagan always. Yes, because before Reagan, people were being taxed seventy percent. And then when when that whole Reaganomics began, that was the big ripoff on everybody. Uh, most of the money uh, government distributes uh, doesn't go directly from, say, rich to poor the way that a negative income tax where, you know, you just got money if you were... What do you do as a day job? Oh, uh, a writer and editor mostly for libertarian projects. And, and they pay you. And occasionally TV producer. Um, oh, cool. And you get a paycheck from them. Yeah. So no. do you function as a private sector person, you think? Yeah. And did so, you vote? Um, I did. So you did vote. Did you vote for the Libertarian I did. I did. Gary Johnson, he did not win. Now, uh, what's the difference between the Green Party and Libertarian? Uh, with the, uh, although there are a few issues on which the Greens uh, agree, like legalizing uh, drugs, and, mm -hmm. or at least marijuana, and, uh, and reducing uh, military commitments overseas, right. uh, for the most part on economics, the Greens are socialists and want more government regulation and more government involvement in the economy. And libertarians want less, and would contend that the more the government gets involved in the economy, the more you see cronyism and things like bank bailouts. Right, right. And, uh, so, if you had a magic wand mm -hmm. to go, the world would be wonderful. Uh, what do you think it would you do? I basically just. Uh, 
and tell everybody not to violate property rights. That essentially takes care of everything else. Yeah, well, that's just one. That's because the, the most disgusting thing I've heard lately is people trying to loot houses that have been damaged by Sandy. It's like, what are you thinking? And so, like gas and now, do you think people would like, yeah. respond? I mean, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, uh, ideally, and on paper, and, and, and in thought, and, and in prayer, it, it works. But are people going to really go for this? Well, they, I mean, and how can it work? They, they will when they realize that yes. if, you know, if they try to rob you, you can shoot back at them. And that's, you know, that's legal. So you think uh, so, everyone should have a gun? Um, well, I mean, I'm not saying they have to, but they're still, I, mean, I certainly think they're allowed, allowed to. And, you know, but that creates, the important thing is uh, people are more likely to follow clear rules than extremely ambiguous ones. So if you've got a society where nobody really knows who owns what, and it's not clear whether ownership is dependent on, you know, which party is in power or who you connect to politically um, or, or how great your need is in Marxist terms, then you, nobody really knows for sure when it's appropriate to take things and when not to. If the only law is, in essence, don't violate but property how can rights, we do that you know, in this day and age? Just uh, stop the world and start over again? Uh, well, I mean, there are a whole bunch of different ways it could happen. But fun. The, the, uh, yeah. Given, given how deeply in debt big governments are uh, around the world, I would say... They don't that, care. No, I know they don't. So I, I'd say at some point, though, they're just going to end up like California, which is probably a good bellwether, and just start issuing IOUs. And at some point, people are going to realize, you know what? They're never going to They're never going to They raise taxes in California this year, though. And at some point... And, and, and they, they voted for it. The Californians voted for it. I, I think the money it's, it's paid for everything. And, and when that doesn't solve the problem, yeah. I think eventually people will realize that they don't want to vote for higher taxes because it's not solving the problem. Right. And you'll see people simply walking away. Uh, the best thing is not just when people walk away from government services, but when eventually you see people walking away from their government jobs. Because as is sometimes the case in California, they're just getting IOUs and they realize, you know what? This right. big useless building called right. the Department of Transportation is not actually providing any useful services for people that we couldn't as easily do ourselves. So you know what? I'm out of here. And if, if you can just convince people that it is inappropriate to keep going to their government jobs um, or to enforce bad laws, uh, maybe at some point people start walking away. The, the way that sometimes in the midst of a revolution, soldiers will walk away from their tanks. Or Hopefully stuff. the Syrians will wow. walk away from them. Yeah, so um, just to sum things up, did you just have a big event? Oh, uh, we, well, we Are just you had having one? The, uh, we, we just uh, yeah. had an event. It sounded really interesting. Earlier in the week, uh, with people from different political factions reacting to the election. Uh, so we had an Occupy Wall Street guy explaining why, in the end, he voted for uh, Obama. Uh, but we also had, for instance, the daughter of a... Uh, That's different. We had, we had the daughter of a Republican uh, Senate candidate. Um, and she explained why, although she uh, uh, she was rooting for her dad uh, in the presidential election, she voted for Gary Johnson, the Libertarian Party candidate. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and then we also had. Now where do you have these events? The uh, uh, Much Moore's, uh, a bar in Williamsburg. Okay. And uh, and we may be doing a special event uh, in December if all goes according to plan. Uh, at a strip club. Uh, nice. I don't want to announce the official date yet because we're not sure. But it looks like we might have a panel on sex, drugs, and rock and roll Love it. at Gentlemen's Headquarters. Uh, nice. The, 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 the strip club in, in You're uh, smiling for so that they, one. So they just in, go in to your, town. your paper to find out where these events are? Right. You, you, website? You, you, website? You, you can go to toddcv.com or if you're not sure how to spell that, go to, <laughs> as if this is a solution, Dionysium. Not yeah, man. right. Dionysium. Like the Greek god Dionysus, but it's Dionysium, like a, an event. Can you spell it? Um, and, and we'll have it on our Ruin Who page. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. D-I-O-N-Y-S-I-U-M. Dionysium. And did you name it? Uh, no, actually, it's uh, the sister organization uh, to a group in Austin, Texas, doing similar debates and performances. Austin's so cool. Austin is cool. So, so, so do you even know how many votes the Libertarian guy got? Yep, uh, about one million. Oh wow! Which is about one percent of, that's of nice. those that's that's voted in the election. And yeah, by Libertarian standards, that's pretty good. Although they were a little more optimistic that this year, after all the things Bush and Obama have screwed up. The libertarians were hoping maybe there'll be a lot of people out there who say, I've had it with both the major parties. I'm voting right, libertarian. Right. Yeah, but you know that well, big saying, the, like a vote for libertarian. Tell, tell everybody the, the paper again. So, you know, if, they, if they're if interested in being a libertarian, and they want to read your articles. Oh, uh, let's see. Well, if you, if you, uh, if you go to Dionysium.com 
and then click on the New York button, you'll go to my uh, blog, which will have links to a lot yeah, of stuff. Yeah, it's really oh, interesting right. stuff. Yeah, it really is. Fine. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, let's see. Well, you know, depending on how you define this, I guess you could say my whole adult life, which is like 20 years Good now. for you. Um, so you're um, passionate. That's what I like about you. Right. Now, do you always dress in a suit? No, but, you know, Ruin, this is a formal occasion. Ruin who is a special occasion. I appreciate oh, you dress up for me. Wow. Like so, you know, I do need a outlets. skeleton in your closet. Oh, right. Because it's National Fast Food Day. And like, maybe look you at voted for Trump's voice or something like that. <laughs> you know, actually, years ago I did, but I do regard that as a mistake. In fact, I, I, I don't know if this is the best skeleton, but I have I voted libertarian in most presidential elections and then Republican in a few. And I don't regret the libertarian votes, and I regret all the Republicans. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Right. Probably a lesson there. So if you could have a sleepover with any of the Republican presidents that you voted for, who would it be? A sleepover. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's kind of old. I'm just curious. Like you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have to see him in his underwear. No, yes, we would have to have breakfast, I mean, dinner, like, watch movies, hang out. I'm George, curious. George W. Bush likes the booze. The little one or so, the big one? No, not anymore. He's, uh, oh, he probably. Again. Are you kidding? Know. Even after he claims he. Yeah, uh, he I don't. It, I don't. There, were, there were shots yeah. of him sort of belting yeah, out he's something. Yeah, he's Of so, course he does. I think he's probably still got some. It's probably how he choked on that pretzel. He was having a bug. As long as he brings pretzels and alcohol, I suppose that's probably. So he's the one. And cocaine. In cocaine. Because he likes coke. He used to. That I don't know if he still does. I mean, he might and not know it. And now he can do whatever he wants. Exactly. Right? Sure, I always think Bin Laden is living in his basement. <laughs> <laughs> they, they made like this beautiful a cave. Closet for no, him. Like yeah, a closet for like I always I just, I just have this vision that he lives in Texas underneath the bush house. And is like wine and dine and treated like royalty. You know, you know, for, for, and as many as pornographic videos he wants, he wants to watch. No, it's called he's what? in the basement, dead with an No, he's not dead. dead. No, he's in the basement dead, autoerotic with autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> yeah, that's not how I see it. A former Bill Clinton that's Secretary of State actually once said to, to somebody when like, off the record, "Do you think Bush has Bin Laden secreted away and and, and he'll come oh. out when he needs him?" Which I think actually, I didn't know that. The only thing that's encouraging about I that, love Bill Clinton. Like it, it's I do too. It's disturbing that like major political figures are, might also be prone to conspiracy theories, but it does mean that they're not all already in on a conspiracy, otherwise they probably wouldn't be making up stuff. Hello, knock knock. Well, I believe that... Uh, take what you want. What kind of fast food would you like? Uh, There's fries, burgers, pizza. Oh, I'll take the hot dog. Oh, hot good. dog. You, hot dog. You got it. Yeah. Already. And, uh, I don't think W was ever going to kill Bin Laden because they were friends with the Bin Laden family friends, exactly. for 25 years, so he's not going to go kill one of the guy's sons. Well, whatever. Yep. <laughs> I think the bigger story there is probably that the U.S. is too friendly with the Saudis. In general. Exactly. Right. Well, we're trying to get off their heroin. And just just take care of each other in the Middle East. But we got to go because okay. time is money. All right. Not our money. Should, I, should I exit this? So do you have a farewell shout out? Oh, uh, let's see. Um, uh, uh, Anything you didn't get in? I have I have four tickets to the opening night of The Hobbit next month. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's going to be great. And I love that book. And, and what about that? Are you sharing them? Uh, well, they're not all claimed yet. So I, I could it's going to be two movies, I think. Three now. Three oh, wow. to do the Hobbit? And, and in 3D IMAX, I know four, it was three. 48 frames per second. Three? It's, like even three. it's not that long. It'll be, yeah, well, they, I, I think they'll milk it. They realize three tickets cost more than two tickets. Tell me about it. Well, thank you always for visiting us, oh, Scott TV. Yeah, and thanks for dressing up. Yeah. And, and Rocket, I, I wish I could believe that it would happen the way you say it. We'll see. Cross our fingers. And we have one more guest on this Brooklyn edition. So Brooklyn. stay tuned. Yes, in Brooklyn. This time, this time, this time, this time I'm done with you. Done with you. You know we do. You take pleasure. Must be a 